All right. Now, the next step I want to do is import that here. But before I do so, I'm going to remove the cube and I'm going to remove the sphere. Okay, so I'm just going to leave in the 2D world. Now, I'm going to my desktop and I'm going to select the floor and the sphere that I just created. And I'm going to drag and drop them inside of the Unity Asset folder. Okay, right here, drag and drop it, and it's going to add them right there. Now, something very important, if you want to be able to use them, you have to select them both and go to the inspector and make sure that these are sprites, okay? Sometimes there will be textures and this won't work. They need to be sprites and then click on apply. All right. Now I can take my sphere and just add it to the scene. And boom, here it is. Excellent. Next thing I want to do is add the floor as well. So I'm going to drag and drop the floor. And here it is. Perfect. I'm going to move the floor, the floor down by moving its position. And I'm going to scale it on the, um, on the uh, x axis. And here we go. Let's go with uh, 3. Uh, 3.5, okay. Let's go with 4. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see now, I have the sphere and I have the, the floor. And they already, we already have a, a light that's already applied. If I remove the light, check this out. Um, the, the colors stay, apparently we don't need the light here, okay? But we can probably change the light here and that would affect it. Um, apparently not, so that's good. Anyway, moving on. Now that we have this, we need to add physics again. And um, what we could do is select the sphere. And now that the sphere is a to the object, it's a sprite, we can add the physics that are 2D physics. Again, component, physics 2D, and I'm going to add a rig, uh, rigid body. All right, now that I have a rigid body, if you look at it, you can use the gravity, okay? So it has uh, many different constraints that you can add, is kinematic, angular drag, linear drag, mass, gravity scale, and so on, and now, um, what, what I would want you to do is press play and see what it does. Okay, so you can just go and press play. And as you can see, the ball started moving downward. Now, the reason why it did this is that because it's, it has a mass and it's automatically using the physics gravity. And if you, if you wonder what happened to the gravity, it's because by default, the physics of Unity has gravity, but you can always change that if you want by going inside of the, uh, the build settings and then you can just go in the player settings and you can change the gravity here. You have like options to change all different variables of the environment. But we're not going to do this because we do want a gravity that, that works like that. All right. However, if you want it to go and, and slow down, you can put a, like a smaller mass or put more, more drag, okay, more linear drag. But anyway, what we have right now, it's pretty good. 